Hello. So today we are looking at another experiment from the heat transfer set of experiments. The experiment is titled heat transfer study of insulation materials. Here we have all the equipments that we'll be requiring to perform this experiment. We have the six boxes which are part of the kit. Then we have the different insulation materials that are again part of the kit. This material here, it is called alu foil. It is a combination of foam on which there is a reflective um, sheet or, or shiny uh, material that is uh, part of or, or uh, that is attached to one side of the, the foam and this whole material is called alu foil. Then we have the paper mesh. This is just a, a mesh made of paper and inside this is uh, just this paper. This material here is called wood wool panel. This is again another insulation material. It's called wood. Uh, this is made of wood shreds. This is thermocol. This is simple wood wood panel. And this here is uh, a material called as eco board. This is made up of recycled, um, made up of recycling different materials and, and making a, a panel out of it. This is called eco board. Recycling waste materials that is. This experiment will give students an understanding of how different insulation materials play uh, a role in impeding heat transfer inside the building. And this will envision, uh, th this experiment will envision this whole concept to the students and they will be equipped to include different insulation materials into their design. We'll look at the assembly of this experiment. Here we will first take each uh, set here and put it like this, lock it. We have to make sure that the insulation material is inside. We will do that same thing with all the different materials. Once we have set this up, we'll make sure to insert the thermometers inside the hole that has been provided in the box. This is the assembly of this experiment. We will look at the procedure to perform this experiment. First, I will take a book in which I will note down all the readings that I will be taking uh, during this experiment. Initially, I will note down the ambient air temperature uh, in which I am performing this experiment. As we already know, that to perform this experiment, we have to keep this setup under the sun or it needs exposure to the sun. Also, it needs access to open spaces or rooftops or terraces, etc. We'll note down the ambient temperature. Currently, it is 40 
40 degree Celsius. We will insert it again. To perform this experiment, I will also need a timer for which I am using my mobile phone. I will start the timer and I will note down all the readings. So here I am getting a reading of 40 degrees Celsius, I will note that down. This one is aloe foil. I am getting a reading of 48 degrees Celsius for the paper mesh. Similarly, I will keep on noting down different readings for different materials. So we will look at the procedure of this experiment. Initially, I will note down the ambient temperature that I am performing this experiment in. I will take a notebook uh, to note down all the readings. As we already know that for, uh, to perform this experiment or, or this setup, we would need exposure to direct sunlight and also access to open spaces like terraces, um, rooftops, uh, etc. So now I am going to look at the ambient temperature, which is showing 40 degrees. So I will note that down. Ambient temperature is 40 degrees. I will insert it again. And now I will go ahead and use this temperature gun. Before that, I will also use my mobile for which I will fr from which I will use the stopwatch or the timer. And once I start it, I will note down the temperature of each box uh, or the surface temperature of, of each box here. So this is showing as 55, this is showing as uh, 57 degrees Celsius. Now this one is aloe foil and this is paper mesh, I will note that down. This is 56 and 60. This one is wood wool, wood wool is 56 and thermocol is 60. Similarly, it is 51 and this one is 54. This one here is eco board and this is the wooden panel. I will repeat this experiment for, I uh, will repeat this procedure of taking surface temperature values for ev after every one minute interval and I will make sure that I have a set of readings for, uh, for each minute and I will do this for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes have lapsed and I have a set of 10 readings or uh, 10 surface re uh, temperature readings. Now what I will do is I will remove the um, the, the thermometers that I have inserted to see what has been the impact on the inside of the box. I will note down these readings. So this is showing as uh, temperature as 
46 degrees. This is again paper mesh. This is 48 degrees. This is aloe foil. This is woodwell panel, which is showing as 49 degrees. This is thermocol and thermocol is showing me a reading of 50 degrees. This one is my wood panel. This is again showing me a reading of 50 degrees. And lastly, this is my eco board, which is showing me a, a, a reading of 52 degrees. This experiment here and these readings that I have taken, the surface temperature readings and the inside readings, both will give me uh, an understanding of how these different insulation materials are impactful or are they effective or not effective and this will help me in deciding which of these insulation materials to use or incorporate in my design of the structure. Thank you.